Um, something that was pointed out to me by God <clears throat> that I found interesting. And it kind of makes me feel a little better, you know. Uh, basically, when, uh, when Paul, when Saul got saved, basically by Jesus, he didn't preach this, the gospel immediately. He didn't. Um, and I think God wanted me to see that. He, he, he prepared for a time in Arabia before he preached the gospel, you know, back to Jerusalem, back, when he came back to Damascus. It's in Galatians. Right? Chapter 1, verse 17. <clears throat> Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. But other of the apostles saw I none, save James the Lord's brother. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preacheth the faith which once he destroyed. And they glorified God in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a huge turnaround. God knows how big that turnaround is. In my case. basically and to be a complete 180 and God showed me that it wasn't a quick 180 you know it took three years before God before uh, Paul came about to preach the gospel you know and they're like what the heck preaching the faith he once tried to destroy you know it's a huge turnaround that's how impressive God is I haven't really preached yet, I haven't, but God's like, you're not ready anyways. I'm not. Obviously. I'm still I'm still in a preparation before uh, preaching a real ministry, you know. I'm still in preparation. <laughs> um, just like just like Paul was for three years. He was prepared. But that's interesting that, that he Paul's interacting with Peter, just like I am these days, who I consider the Peter disciple, you know. So maybe my ministry's getting close, you know, because I'm interacting with Peter a lot. And I just saw Peter tonight, <laughs> you know. So. For ye have heard of my conversion in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. Maybe that's what they'll say about me. If I'm preaching the gospel of Jesus full force, they'll be like, he was a rebel. You know, he was a total rebel of everything. <laughs> You know, all the believers of God be saying that they will be, you know. <laughs> if they see me preaching the gospel full force, if they do, they'll be like, what the heck? He was totally against God most of his life. 
They're right. I was. I was. Like, bro. That's why it'd be crazy to, to have me preach on the force. Like, bro. I haven't preached for a while. So I haven't preached, really. Witnessed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, God showed me that it wasn't a quick turnaround. <laughs> Before his ministry. It was a three-year training, you know, that I feel like I'm kind of ministered on a little bit before I preach the gospel that Paul preached. So. <clears throat> but yeah, it takes a lot of guts to do what Paul did. A lot of guts. Everyone knows he was the enemy. You know what I'm saying? They all know it. And he's preaching the gospel for the wars, for Jesus, former enemy of Jesus. Some boldness. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I want to say. Just get less pressure off me, you know. Everyone's like, "Why haven't you preached the gospel like Paul yet?" I'm not ready, you know. I'm prepared. Still working out the kinks. You know? I'm not fully convinced. I'm not. You know, to preach the gospel, I have to be more con convicted. You know, more. Full believer, you know, not just believer, you know. I'm not like, eh, believer. God's done a lot of things, you know, eh, you know. Like I said, if I was full believer, I'd be preaching full force already. If I was fully convinced in every way about God. God will only show up. You know, there's some preparation. It's not a it's not a, a huge turnaround from being from being an enemy of God most of your life. It's not an easy turnaround. It's not. It's not. It's not like a flip the switch. Because there, there's there's yeah. It's not like a flip the switch. Like I'm a full I'm a full enemy to God. And then like God flips the switch. You know, now I'm not an enemy of God. It's all out of me. It's all out of me totally. You know, it's not totally God. It's not that that rebellious side of me. You know, it's not totally. <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> as you guys can see, I'm not totally playing ball perfectly for God. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not totally playing ball. I'm a resistant one. You know what I mean? I'm still trying to disprove God in the Bible. <laughs> Not fully. I've taken some leaps of faith, yes, but I'm not fully. I'm not a fully committed leader. God already knows that, though. But he's trying. He's trying to do different things to build my faith, to build my belief in him. He's he's trying different things, like to test him and stuff. Because if I test God full force, like He says to test him, and I see the evidence, that'll build my. He has to back up all his word in the word, in the Bible. He has to back it up always before I can preach for God. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be preaching the gospel. I'm like, I'm not sure if God backs up his word about this part of scripture. I'm not sure. You know, there's that iffy part still. You know what I'm saying? You know, some scriptures I'm not sure about, as you guys know. So I can't preach the gospel there. <laughs> If I'm iffy about some of the word of God, you know. I'm one of those people, like, I have to know more than just part of the Bible. It's legit. I have to know more before I try to preach it for people. I can try to convert them to Jesus, you know. I have to know that more of the Bible is legit. Test it, you know. Not people just... The way the Mormons do it was all corrupt. You know, that's all I'll say. The way the Mormons preach the gospel was all corrupt. And God knows it. The way I do it, it's going to be legit and pure. It's going to be legit. It will be. So. But anyways, 
So God showed me that there was a preparation time in Arabia for Paul. So it wasn't a huge, it wasn't an instant turnaround. It wasn't. <laughs> like, oh, I saw Jesus. I'm a changed person now. Now I can preach the gospel now. You know, like that quick. Paul wasn't a quick preaching the gospel machine. <laughs> <laughs>